it's Shiyan alum, keep it to crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto blockchain technology. Together, we're building a crypto movement that funds climate justice and economic empowerment. Today, I have some more big news for the Cardano community. It's on another update regarding the Vassal Hard Fork. Here's the article. Cardano reveals state of three critical indicators to trigger the long-awaited Vassal upgrade. The Cardano team has been putting in a lot of work and extra effort to make sure that the Vassal Hard Fork runs smoothly and we don't get any more bugs. We had thought that the Vassal Hard Fork would happen this month by the end of August, but there was that bug that did delay things. But now the Cardano team did have an update of how things are looking and some critical numbers that people have been wondering. So the first thing is that we have a target for at least 75% of stake pool operators, Cardano SPOs, to be upgraded to node 1.35.3. And currently we have 42% of them actually upgraded so far. The next step is to make sure that enough crypto exchanges are integrated with this. They have a target of at least 25 crypto exchanges. This will allow for a liquidity target of 80%. And the team said that within the next few days, they're going to have the numbers for that of how many exchanges have actually integrated with it. Input Output Global, the research and development arm of Cardano, also revealed that four out of the 10 major dApps have already been working on the new node. Um, we're going to say dApps. It's going to catch on. DApps are decentralized applications. And so far, those are four out of the 10 top DApps by Cardano TVL. And they're working pretty well with that new node. So those are the main big numbers that IOG wanted to share. They also wanted to note that there are no major bugs anymore. They figured out what was happening with that bug that really did delay us. Um, but as of today, there are no major sub one to three bugs. There are currently, though, um, nine sub four to sub five bugs that they do have to fix still, but the major ones are taken care of, and they're just making sure they work through those minor ones before we can actually launch. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll definitely keep you updated on this every time they share more data, every time they share another update about the Vassal Hard Fork, I'll let you know, and you'll definitely be updated once it actually happens. But that's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.